Understanding Dam Inflow, a guide to English vocabulary. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel where learning English is both easy and fun. Today, we're going to unravel the meaning behind the phrases, dam inflow. If you're intrigued by how English can be used to describe environmental and engineering concepts, this video is for you. Stay with us as we dive into the world of water resources and uncover the significance of these words in both a literal and a metaphorical sense. Let's begin by breaking down the phrase. A dam is a large structure built across rivers or streams to control the flow of water. It's used for various purposes like water supply, irrigation, flood defenses, and generating hydroelectric power. In English, the word dam can also be metaphorically used to describe anything that holds back a flow, not just water. Moving on to the second word, inflow refers to the movement of water or any substance into a place. In the context of water resources, inflow is the water that enters a reservoir or a dam from a river or a stream. It's essential for maintaining water levels and ensuring that dams can fulfill their purpose effectively. When we put these words together, dam inflow specifically means the water that enters a dam. It's a critical concept in hydrology, the study of water, and is key to understanding how dams operate. Engineers and environmental scientists pay close attention to the inflow to manage water resources responsibly. Dam inflow is not just a technical term, it's important for several reasons. It helps determine the water capacity a dam can handle, it's crucial for flood control strategies. It influences the electricity generation in hydroelectric plants. It impacts the ecosystems both upstream and downstream of a dam. Understanding this term is essential for anyone studying environmental sciences, engineering, or even geography. I hope this video helps clarify what dam inflow means and why it's such an important concept in English when discussing water management and environmental science. Remember, learning specialized vocabulary can be incredibly beneficial, especially when it relates to global issues such as resource management. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in our next video. Keep learning and keep curious.